Yeah, he was very scathing about the EU. He said his own dealings with the EU have been very problematic. And he actually gave a pretty stark mm. warning to the EU, which is that he's coming after them on trade. I wouldn't be at all surprised. You know, the biggest trading partner for America in the world is the EU, 650 odd billion dollars a year. He was making it very clear he's not happy with that trade arrangement. So if I were the EU, I wouldn't be quite so smug and cocky about this is where this is all going. And my message also, you've got Jeremy Corbyn coming in. My message to the Labour leaders who are leading this thing to the biggest protest of all time and ban Donald Trump is... he's coming be, here twice. Right, right. Year. He's going to do a working visit, I think, in, the, in mid-summer, probably around the NATO summit. Then a state visit, Theresa May's told him again, uh, for, for later in the autumn. But I really think we have to work out in this country We've given state visits to Vladimir Putin, to King Salman, to President Xi, Robert Mugabe, right, Bashar al-Assad. Are we really saying Donald Trump is the one mm. that we actually end up banning? This is a man who this week I think has gone a remarkable charm offensive to Britain. He said every time we need him militarily, he's going to be there. We've heard all the scare stories about Russia. He says on trade, he's going to do a great new trade deal with us. Okay. Hold your nose if you don't like him and put Britain's interests first.